Alright, this is my somewhat review of River City Rival Showdown. Uh, this is purely unscripted, this is just off the cuff. I should have made a script, but I'm not a reviewer, but I just want to express my feelings about this game. It's it's not, uh, let's see, the series is pretty big in Japan, but I don't know how big the following is here in uh, the US. But this game is somewhat of a remake of the NES Room City Ransom, which is, a, which is a really fun game, uh, 60 FPS, co-op experience. You know, there was some lag when there were so many uh, objects on screen, but you know, that's for the NES, so it's, a, it's, it's forgiven, in my opinion. The game for the 3DS, however, is a bit of a mess. Uh, I didn't even get that far into it, and I'll explain why. The first thing is, you have to start a file first. You have to start a single player file, and then you quit out of that, and then you can play co-op with somebody who has their own 3DS and their own gang garden. So that's not the problem. The problem is, the co-op seems seems a bit... I don't, I, don't, I don't know how to say it. The co-op doesn't really feel like a real co-op experience. Because playing it, they just throw Ricky in there. Ricky is the, the second player that you play as. Kunio is the main character. The story revolves around Kunio, and then Ricky is... He's in the story too. But when you're playing co-op, he's not in any of the cutscenes, except for one I think he's in later on. I want to go see him, but I don't know how that plays out with co-op. But like I was saying, I feel like the co-op is just slapped on there. Like, because like I said, R Ricky is not in any of the cutscenes, the one of the ones that I've seen. He's just sort of just a second player, which is kind of stupid because he is part of the story. His girlfriend gets kidnapped. So, you would have thought that they would have made a second like, campaign that, that was different from the uh, single player campaign. And that really, really bugs me. And I don't know why they went that direction. I don't know. <laughs> my initial reaction to the trailer was like, Oh my god, this looks sick! This is godlike! Oh my god, look at the graphics! It's 2D with 3D backgrounds! It looks like a really fun game. And, uh... I waited for it to come out, and I picked it up, well, I ordered it up at Amazon a few weeks ago. And then, I was able to play it co-op, and I was so excited because I haven't played, you know, I haven't played, I haven't played River, River City Ransom in a long time. The NES game was so much fun, I can't tell me how many hours I spent playing that damn game. And I'm a big fan of the, uh, the River City series, you know, I played the SNES game for a bit, it was, it was in Japanese, but whatever. And then I played the dodgeball games. And I even played the Neo Geo dodgeball game, Super Dodgeball. I think that was Super Dodgeball. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but and then and then the Game Boy Advance port was really good too. I can't forget. I can't, can't forget. I can't remember if it had co-op because it, obviously you, you'd have to use the link cable. But it was still fun because it ran at 60 frames. I think there was some slowdown too when there's lots of objects on screen. But you can recruit people that you beat up, which is really really cool. So like I think by the end of the game you can have three other people on your side fighting with you, so that was pretty neat. I guess I can't remember I had. I should have looked it up. But uh, again, this is off the cuff, this is just... This is just improv. So, yeah. So the, the biggest problem for me, for River City Rumble Showdown, is that the co-op is feels slapped on there. It's extremely, extremely sludgy-like. Like, yeah, playing the game is slow. Oh god. Like, there weren't even that many, that many people on screen. But the game was just so freaking slow. It's it felt way less than 30. It felt like maybe 20 frames. Ugh, I don't know. I couldn't even get past um, this certain part, which is probably like 10 minutes in, into the game, because I just I, I was so upset and heartbroken just at how bad it was. I'm sure this game is fun. I guess if you if you go into it without any high hopes and you're new to the series and you're just like oh cool a nice little 2D beat 'em up game with RPG elements. Pretty sweet. But as a longtime fan of the series, this totally breaks my heart, and it's really, really hard to play. Like I, it's funny because I go on YouTube, right, and I'm trying to like look up like other reviews for this game. I see gameplay videos from like from game sites or whatever, or I see unboxings of the game, but <laughs> there are no like reviews, no like co-op gameplay videos, and that's not really a good sign right there when you don't find too many things about a game like this. But like I said, this game is, only, I think, only on Amazon. You can't find it at GameStops, or, or I think at any major retailer. 
because I think the first time I tried looking for the game, I went to the GameStop and I was like, hi, do you guys, uh, can I pre-order Heroes of City right before showdown? And then they didn't know what the hell I was talking about. So I was like, oh, okay, never mind. So <laughs> I went on Amazon, I got it. But it came with a cute little Ricky uh, keychain, which is pretty nice, but uh, like I said, man, uh, <laughs> this game is a major disappointment. It's, it's sad to say, because I again, I love the series. I just wish that this could have been the experience I was looking for, a nice handheld co-op experience, but it's totally not. And <laughs> I don't think I'll ever play it again. I played it with friends and they came over and we played it together. We were so excited and then it was like a major disappointment. I'm not saying, uh, how do I, <laughs> I can't really recommend it because I have so much bias towards the NES game and so much love for that. And then this is just the complete opposite of that. It's sad when the NES game runs, runs at 60 frames, and this game barely goes over 30, or barely goes 30. It probably goes low, less, like I said. <sighs> my goodness. But yeah, uh, <laughs> so this is my, uh, just no script, just pure feelings review. Um, thank you for watching. And I'm sorry this is like hard to watch, or if it was cringy, but <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay. <laughs> Bye.